Scientists hope they are wrong. Solution to the Fermi Paradox Found If we consider our solar system as typical of billions and billions of other similar systems, then where are the extraterrestrials? The universe should be full of intelligent life by now that would create some kind of signal that is easy to detect. Yet we have seen and heard nothing. There is one possible solution to the unnerving silence of the cosmos, and it could be the most chilling answer to why we've heard from no one. Because if an alien civilization does exist out there somewhere, they certainly know we are here, and that is something that should scare all of us. So have we actually found aliens, or have they found us? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about the solution to the Fermi Paradox proposed by scientists. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The Fermi Paradox refers to the dichotomy between the high probability that extraterrestrial intelligence exists and the fact that we have no evidence for such aliens. This paradox was described by the late British science fiction author Sir Arthur C. Clarke, who said, Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Many experts since have grappled with the same question. Why, considering the multitude of planets and stars in the Milky Way, have we not heard from anyone? We call this problem the Fermi Paradox, and there are a number of possible solutions, some more unnerving than others. The Fermi Paradox is a problem that asks, where are all the aliens in the universe? If life is so abundant, why haven't we been visited by or heard from anyone else? According to NASA, in just the last two decades, we have found more than 4,000 planets beyond our solar system, with trillions of stars thought to exist in our galaxy, most of which host their own planets. Considering life sprang up on Earth, would we not have expected it to start in at least one other location in the last 14 billion years of the universe? The Fermi Paradox was devised by the Italian-American physicist Enrico Fermi, according to the Planetary Society. He is said to have come up with the idea in a throwaway remark over lunch with his colleagues in 1950, when he asked, where is everybody? He wondered, given that our planet was relatively young compared to the universe, we might have expected someone to have visited us by now. But we had no evidence of that ever occurring. Fermi died four years later in 1954 so did not have long to ponder the question. But his idea has sparked whole fields of science, hoping to solve the problem, including the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. There are a number of solutions to the Fermi paradox. The most obvious and likely is that we simply haven't looked hard enough to find other life, and interstellar travel between stars is difficult. The first planets beyond our own solar system were only discovered in the 1990s. This means we have barely started to scratch the surface of studying other worlds. For example, we are yet to find many planets that look exactly like Earth orbiting stars like our Sun. But upcoming telescopes are hoped to be capable of such detections in the coming decade or two. Even then, the distances between star systems are enormous, making journeys between them difficult. Our closest star system, for example, Alpha Centauri, is four light years away. The distance from Earth to Neptune, for comparison, is 0 0.0005 light years, a journey that would take us decades with current technology. So maybe we can just assume that intelligent aliens might simply have decided to never visit us, or did so long ago without leaving any trace. Alternatively, it might be that life is simply so rare that the chances of two intelligent species being positioned relatively near each other in the vastness of space is exceedingly slim. A more somber suggestion is that we are alone in the universe. Life like that found on Earth is simply so vanishingly unlikely to arise that ours was the only world where this happened. Most scientists think this is unlikely, but there is the possibility that some sort of event known as a great filter might prevent civilizations like ours from progressing far enough to make contact elsewhere. The Great Filter is the idea that catastrophic events, either man-made or natural, cause intelligent life to be extinguished on habitable worlds before they have a chance to extend their reach into the universe. These events could be one of many things. They might be powerful solar flares, climate change, asteroid impacts, or perhaps something of the planet's own doing, like a nuclear apocalypse. 
If this idea is correct, it's not clear if we have already passed this filter, or are we yet to reach it? Apart from all these possible explanations, a pair of researchers, one with the Carnegie Institution for Science, the other with California Institute of Technology, has developed a possible solution to the Fermi paradox. In their paper published in Journal of the Royal Society Interface, Michael Wong and Stuart Bartlett suggest that the reason that no aliens from other planets have visited us is because of superliner scaling, which they contend leads to a singularity. As we have mentioned earlier, several years ago, physicist Enrico Fermi asked a colleague why aliens from outer space have not visited Earth. The two noted that due to the huge size of the universe, it seemed unlikely that Earth alone would harbor intelligent life. So Fermi famously asked, where are they? In this new effort, the research pair have attempted to solve that riddle. They began by studying how human civilizations rose and fell throughout history. Next, they studied the history of large cities and there too, they noticed that most grew to a certain point and then collapsed. They developed a hypothesis that suggested such rising and falling by alien space civilizations would lead to one of two scenarios. In the first, the civilization would come to realize they were growing too large and would cease traveling to or colonizing other worlds. In the second, they would not recognize their folly and would therefore collapse. From our perspective, both scenarios would have the same outcome. The aliens would not visit us or even demonstrate evidence of their existence. The distance from them to us would be too far. The researchers described their hypothesis as superliner scaling where a civilization grows exponentially, colonizing other worlds until they become unable to sustain the energy demands of their constant encroachment. Eventually, if they did not take action, they would reach a singularity, a point of no return, at which they could not save their civilization from collapse. They note that were it not for the vast distances involved, we would likely easily spot evidence of an alien civilization on the point of collapse because it would be emitting enormous amounts of energy. So, many scientists hope that we can solve the Fermi paradox. Moreover, with the help of powerful upcoming telescopes and current ones like NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, they will be able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets like never before, while the search for new planets is continuing unabated. Therefore, by finding more planets and habitable zones around their stars, where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist, Scientists could narrow down the possibility of other Earth-like worlds in the universe, and by using advanced telescopes, study some of these Earth-like orbs in our galaxy. Ultimately, scientists simply need more data in order to truly understand the Fermi paradox. But if it turns out that habitable planets are common and astronomers are still yet to hear from anyone, then it might suggest intelligent life such as that on Earth is rare. Now, all of this also brings us to an important question. Are we alone in the universe? We don't know if we are alone in the universe, but scientists hope to answer this question in the coming years. Ongoing missions like NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars could give us vital clues. Perseverance is collecting samples that will be returned to Earth in the 2030s and could contain signs of past or present life on Mars. So, if we can discover even simple life on Mars or another location, like an icy moon of Jupiter or Saturn, such as Europa and Enceladus, that would be proof that life had sprung up in at least two locations, Earth and this other world. In that instance, it would suggest life is not just limited to our own planet, and with that it would raise the prospect that other intelligent life like us might well exist in our galaxy and beyond. And this is it for today, guys! What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.